Hey friends, welcome back to Bloom with Ms. B. Today I have a fun hands-on activity to show you what equivalent fractions really means. So I'm gonna need you to grab a piece of paper, pencil or some crowns, and let's get started. First things first, the word equivalent means equal or same. So that means we're gonna be talking about fractions that may look different, but they really equal the same thing. Let's go ahead and grab that piece of paper and let's get started. Just a plain piece of paper. Now, how many pieces of paper do we have? One one whole piece of paper. Now let's go ahead and fold that piece of paper in half. So go ahead, match your corners as best as you can. I folded it. Now when we open it, how many pieces do I have now? One, two. How many pieces of paper do I have though? One piece of paper that is now in two pieces. So that means that this one piece is one half of my full paper. Now let's go ahead and write that down so we don't get confused. So here's our piece of paper. I drew the line down the middle and I drew one half on each side. So my two is my denominator because I have two pieces of my whole, but they each have one as the numerator because this is one piece and this is one piece. This is one half. So I'm gonna go ahead and color one half my paper. You do the same. Okay, so now half of my paper is colored pink. So let's go ahead and we're gonna fold this paper two times now. So let's fold it back how we did once. Now fold it again going down. Really, you can fold it anyway, but let's go ahead and stick with this one. All right, now when we unfold it, how many pieces do we have now? I have one, two, three, four. Four pieces in my one piece of paper. This is still one piece of paper we are working with, but it is now folded into four separate pieces. Now, because it's folded into four separate pieces, that means this one little piece right here is one fourth of our paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and write one fourth in each square because this is one fourth, this is one fourth, this is one fourth, this is one fourth. Let's go. Okay, so one fourth is because the four, my denominator is how many pieces there are. So I have one, two, three, four. So my denominator is going to be four in each little piece. Now this is just one piece. This is just one piece, one piece, one piece. So the numerator in all of them is one. Remember, the numerator is on top, denominator is on the bottom. Denominator is how many pieces there are. The numerator is how many pieces we are talking about exactly. So speaking of pieces, how many pieces do I need to still have half my paper colored? Do I need just one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, two fourths. So look where we colored half of our paper, this pink side. How many fourths are colored in that half piece of paper? I have one, two pieces are colored. So in order to still have half our paper colored, our equivalent to one half is two fourths because one piece, two piece. Two fourths is the same as one half. Now we're not done, let's keep on going. We're gonna fold it three times this time. You ready? Let's go. One, two, and one more fold for three. Now when we unfold it, so now that I pull it a third time, I'm gonna go ahead and draw my line so you can see it a little bit clearer and we can count how many pieces we have. Okay, so now I've drawn my more clear lines. Let's count how many pieces we have now that we folded our paper. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means our denominator for each little square is going to be eight. But our numerator, if I'm talking about just this one piece, I'm talking about one. So it's going to be one eighth. One eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth. Let's go ahead and write. So now we can see each little square is one eighth. But if I'm still looking at the side that's colored pink, how many eighths do I need to fit within the shaded pink side? I'm gonna have one, two, three, four. So now I need four eighths in order to have half my piece of paper colored. Now either way, half my paper is colored. Now whether that is one half, two fourths or four eighths. No matter what, it is still one half of my one piece of paper. So that means one half is equivalent to two fourths, which is equivalent to 
four eighths. Doesn't matter which of those fractions you are looking at, those all mean one half. So those are equivalent fractions. Alrighty, so there's our activity for equivalent fractions. Stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna be going more into equivalent fractions, showing you more problems and more examples. But if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.